Hi, and welcome to the Forgotten Way series about the fundamental past. So, in this series we will talk about the fundamental choices, the fundamental destinations you can make on your way through life. So there are several topics we will be talking about. The choice of religion, uh, the choice of a life partner, the choice of education and the job. So all these parts are very fundamental choices which really determine what our life experience will be like. We'd like to start this series with a talk about the choice of religion. So first of all, let's define religion. Religion, I would like to take literally. Um, it, it comes from the Latin word re ligare. Ligare is to connect. Religare, reconnect. So it's reconnection, basically. So the basic tenet of religion, why a religion is a religion, is because it is basically saying there is something to which we were connected, but we have lost our connection and it is possible to repair it. So there are many forms of religion, in a way, any um, form of initiation anything which makes you part of a group or a greater whole, you could say it's a religious ceremony. Um, for instance, even just being hired at a job can be considered a religious ceremony. You're reconnecting to a group of people or to a certain flow of energy of people who are on their road doing the same thing, having a similar job or similar goal as you. So religion really sees the importance of not being just alone on the path, but being with a group, being joined in a larger flow of things instead of just creating your own flow. And this is why religion, uh, typical religion is actually organized religion. It is possible to have an individual religion, but usually a religion turns into a group effort. It's very hard as for one person to write your own holy books to create your own temples, to perform all your own ceremonies. So it is generally split off to a priest or a priestess to take care of these things. But then the priest or the priestess needs to be also supported so he or she can perform their tasks. And to support a person requires a group of other people to generate the means for this person to yeah, perform their duties. So religions tend towards organized religion. If we look at organized religions, we find that there's roughly two types of organized religions. On the one hand, there are religions which really focus on the individual's path, which basically say you have your path. Your path is unique. Other people cannot know your path. Other people cannot understand your path. Other people cannot walk your path. And your path depends on you. You have to make the effort, do the right things, to make progress this way. And within every religious stream, there tends to be a flow which advocates this path, where you, in a way, focus on simplicity, on personal experience, um, on doing it yourself and also a very large part of self-attribution, working on yourself, improving yourself, making yourself worthy. The flip side of that coin is to have a religion which basically uh, places the power outside of you, within other beings. So there can be gods or goddesses or also even just one source, uh, higher spirit, greater spirit, which is superior to you. And we rely on these greater beings to help us. So in this path, we pray to gods, to goddesses, to angels, to saints, um, to icons, to various spirits of nature. Um, and here we are basically following a very different basic tenet. Here we say that we as human beings are in a way 
almost unable to make spiritual progress without help, without support, without guidance. And we realize that we do not have it within us to make this spiritual progress and therefore we try to get help from other sources, experts, teachers who know how to do these things and through their guidance we can make progress. And of course these two paths are not mutually exclusive but the ones who favor working together with higher powers they say that progress is made more quickly because you can't try to find out everything on your own but why not ask the expert they are there to help you they exist to help you and they have done what you have done before so they have an understanding of your situation and it would be kind of silly once if there is such support available not to use it and they think that people who are anyway not using it you're a little bit arrogant or otherwise stupid. This is usually the reason for people to choose the path which involves the higher beings. On the other side, you have the people who are doing it themselves. And they basically say that relying on other beings, it's not real progress. You're just being uplifted. But even though they put you somewhere on a higher position, you're still weak, you're still very likely to fall. You have not deserved that position because you have not done enough, you have not worked enough to attain that position. You only attain that position because of the goodness or support of others and that makes you dependent on them. They have power over you. If they stop supporting you, if they stop helping you, you will slide down. And therefore, they're, you're in a way addicted to their help. Um, it's like a drug, of course, makes you feel great, it makes you feel good, it's a positive sensation, but you can, if you cannot maintain it by yourself, um, ultimately you're just dependent, you're a slave to their power. And um, they state that the only worthwhile effort is to do it yourself, because of our uniqueness. Everybody has their unique abilities, and because these abilities are unique, also the path of developing these abilities is unique. Nobody has the same path, nobody has been needs exactly what you need. So therefore you need to find it on your own. And also there's a purity to it. If nobody else is telling you what it is, how to do it, what system to follow, then the only prison you find yourself in is the prison of your own making. Instead of having two prisons, you have the cultural, traditional prison and you have the personal prison. So they claim there is more freedom, more liberty into following the path by yourself and fighting with your own demons and limitations instead of also having to fight against the tradition as well. Which path is better? I cannot choose this for you. But I just want to make it very clear that within many flows like Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Shamanism, pretty much every religion has this fundamental split between doing it yourself and receiving support. So this is the first question you should answer for yourself and it will help you in the rest of your choices. In the rest of the videos I will discuss some groups of religion, so you can make a choice whether this group suits you or not.